Back to our top story now, and although state health leaders decided to end the indoor mask mandate, local governments can continue their own requirements. Sacramento County was one of the few counties that had its own mask mandate on top of the state requirements. Until this point, the county wanted to keep its indoor masking rules until the case rate was down to five per 100,000 people. Right now, that rate is more than 63 per 100,000. County officials say they are now changing their guidance and lifting their mask mandate as well. The original low case rate goal was set during the Delta surge. They say Omicron is more contagious but has fewer severe side effects. We are uh, making changes just like everyone else's as we get new information and we feel like our cases are definitely headed steeply in the right direction. Um, and so that's why we have changed our course as far as the mask mandate. Yolo County has its own mask mandate as well. County leaders haven't decided if they will align with the state or keep their own rules. They will figure that out before February 15th. Los Angeles County said it is keeping its mask mandate in place. Well, with that mandate ending and COVID numbers prove improving, we asked Dr. Vanessa Walker if we have approached the endemic phase of COVID. We're not there yet. Um, you know, we have to remember that, you know, endemic isn't a, an exact number or an exact count. Um, it really just comes to it, the, the disease itself no longer impacts our life the way that a pandemic does. For Dr. Walker says for us to get to the endemic phase, that would involve getting more access to antiviral medications. So if a patient were to call her who is sick with COVID, uh, she could just write them a prescription. She believes that could actually happen by the fall. Well, mask mandates for schools in four other states will be lifted in the coming weeks. Governors of Connecticut, Delaware, New Jersey and Oregon made the announcements yesterday. They say masks will no longer be required by the end of February or March. Let's take a live look here over the state capitol and last night lawmakers passed a bill requiring larger businesses to give paid sick leave to employees who get COVID. The measure gives workers up to two weeks off paid time and they get co if they get COVID or have to take care of, say, a sick family member. The proposal applies to companies with 26 or more employees. The bill is retroactive to January 1st. Governor Newsom is expected to sign it. Here's a look now at the vaccination rate in the state. 73.5% of eligible Californians are fully vaccinated, accounting for 27.7 .7 million people. Another 3.3 million are partially vaccinated, with 13 million having received their booster. State is currently giving out, on average, 88,000 doses per day. Well, there are more opportunities for you to get vaccinated today as well. These are some clinics that will be open in Sacramento County. North Highlands Community Center, La Familia Maple Neighborhood Center, Liberty Towers Church and Charles E. Mack Elementary. Walk-ins are welcome, but you can also make an appointment on the state's My Turn website. Well, the Twin Rivers Unified School District will continue its series of COVID vaccination clinics tomorrow. It will be held at Smythe Academy of Arts and Sciences and the multi-purpose room it goes from 3.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. The next clinic will be on February 19th at Grant Union High School in the main gym. That will run from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m.